So this is about lipid digestion, so the hydrolysis of triglycerides and the absorption into the lymphatic system. Into the so fats that you consume tend to have uh, accumulate as large fat globules because they're hydrophobic. Uh, they want to escape from water, so the fats accumulate together. Mm -hmm. But this has a very small surface area, large molecule, small surface area. So it's not very easy for enzymes to come in and break um, ester bonds in the middle of these fat globules. So we need to increase the surface area. And that's done by bile or bio, bile salts. So it breaks up, it emulsifies the large fat globule into much smaller uh, droplets. This increases the surface area, so makes it easier for a faster rate of enzyme action can occur. Just remember bile is not an enzyme. It's not breaking any bonds. It's just increasing the surface area. An overview of uh, lipid digestion. So lot, most of the lipids that we eat are triglycerides. Um, and they can be broken down into monoglycerides and fatty acids. So that's hydrolysis of the ester bond that occurs between the glycerol and the fatty acids. So lipase hydrolyzes the ester bonds. Uh, lipase is produced by the pancreas and it's secreted into the small intestine. So the digestion of lipids occurs in the small intestine. So in the lumen of the small intestine you'll find monoglycerides and fatty acids. So because fatty acids and uh, monoglycerides are hydrophobic, they accumulate together to form a structure called a micelle. So micelles, it looks a little bit like a cell type shape, but instead of a bilayer being formed, the fatty acids have accumulated together away from water to form a monolayer. So that is a micelle. Because fatty acids and monoglycerides um, are hydrophobic, they can simply diffuse across the cell surface membrane of an epithelial cell. So we're going from the small intestine into the epithelial cell that lines the small intestine. There are several different organelles that are important in the absorption of uh, lipids into the lymph. So that's the end. So it's not the blood that it will end up. The lipids that are absorbed will end up in the lymph. It's another transport system as well as the blood. So first of all, we've got the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So what that does is it converts the absorbed, so the monoglycerides and the um, fatty acids that have been absorbed into the epithelial cell through diffusion, it converts those into triglycerides. Those triglycerides then move towards the Golgi apparatus. The rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes proteins, which then move towards the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus then modifies the proteins and the triglycerides and packages them into a structure called a chylomicron which you can see represented by number six. The chylomicron is a large structure made from those triglycerides that need to be absorbed into the uh, lymphatic system. Now these are two large structures to simply diffuse into the lymphatic vessel, even though it's mostly hydrophobic, still too large to move by diffusion. So it moves by a process called exocytosis, whereby the chylomicron fuses with the cell surface membrane and then releases its contents into the lymphatic vessel. So that is how triglycerides are absorbed into the lymphatic system, into the lymphatic vessel. The mark points on the next slide. So here are the mark points for the absorption of lipids. So as we said, monoglycerides and fatty acids form micelles. Because they are hydrophobic, they can simply diffuse into the epithelial cell. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes triglycerides from those fatty acids and monoglycerides that are absorbed. The rough endoplasmic reticulum makes proteins. And the Golgi apparatus modifies the triglycerides, proteins and adds cholesterol to form the spheres called chylomicrons. So chylomicrons are large spheres made from triglycerides, proteins and cholesterol. And they fuse with the cell surface membrane. 
And finally, how those triglycerides get into the lymph, into the lymphatic vessel, is through exocytosis um, of the chylomicrons. So the triglycerides travel into the lymph.